What's up fam, and welcome back to yet another episode of House Flipper. Today, we are going to do something cool. What is it? I don't know. I just wanted to quickly take a look around the yard here one more time. Oh, just kind of revisit this house a little bit. Oop, play with my settings a little bit. That's a little easier. Oh, I just love this room. It's been so long since I actually had a chance to visit through the rest of this house. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So today we are going to be working on the home alone house. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's like when um, Macaulay Culkin was throwing stuff down the stairs in the in the Home Alone movie. Okay. All right. Doesn't look like there's too much that has to be fixed up in here, so I don't know what we're really going to be doing here, but uh, yeah, let's go there right now. I think it could be a good chance to make a little bit of money. I'm not excited about the staircase because usually when you see a design on the staircase, it can't change. The ugly red wallpaper is probably going to have to stay, or if we can edit it, it just won't look the greatest. Okay, we've got some uh, snow outside. Not bad, not bad. Makes sense because it was uh, Christmas time in the Home Alone movies when they happened. A little bit of trash here. Maybe a raccoon got in there or something. We got a downstairs? Let's check out the downstairs. Okay. Nice little area here. Washer, dryer. Little workbench. Okay. Little fuse box. Okay. I see you. That's cool. And then we go in here. Yeah, the main hall here. Someone's left some free paint. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, this is cool. A little Christmas scene going on here. What we got in here? Okay, like a little entertainment room. Okay, I feel this. I feel it. And what do we got over here? Um, how do I make it go bigger? Oh, yeah. Minus key. Okay, so we got the dining room here. Full, full windows. I like this. I don't think we've really had windows like this before. That's cool. And what do we got over here? We got our kitchen. Nice little island set up. Not bad, not bad. Okay. What do we got over here? The list just goes over here? Yeah. Alright, let's check up the uh, upstairs and see what it, uh, we're working with up here. <clears throat> so... Nice little storage room, okay. Little bedroom with an ensuite. Oh, that's a lot of room. We are not going to have a problem with space this episode, my friends. <laughs> Very cool. Another little bedroom for a kid. Nice little uh, upstairs bathroom. Very productive closet. Um, interesting. Shelves and stuff hit the floor, I guess. They were on this wall here and they just kind of fell off. Alright. Nice little nether bedroom here. Um, a nether bedroom here. Okay, so... In the movie, they did have a lot of kids, so this certainly makes sense. Let's make the bed. There we go. That's better. Cool. So... <clears throat> this can be a little bit different here, because... Uh, I mean, we're not going to actually be removing walls and stuff in here like it's pretty good the way it is so it's gonna be more of just a little bit of a fix-up job I don't know how much we're really gonna be gutting rooms and starting from scratch because it already looks pretty good so I think we're gonna kind of change some of the floors and the walls and then kind of see if you know things don't fit in too well and kind of go from there so let's start on this garage Alrighty, time to get back into it here. Boom! Very simple, very simple. Did not take me much time at all to put together. Uh, we know that there's a ton of kids in this house. Um, so, boom. We got nine bikes and a nice big picture of a skateboard there. We've got some storage here. We've got a little uh, laundry room here. Um, 
little shelf here you can put all your cleaning chemicals and stuff on there. A uh, little place to fold your clothes and, and dry your clothes on there as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then just a little poster here. Uh, unfortunately can't do anything about the fuse box, but uh, it's there and it works at least, you know. That's something. <laughs> so, um, let's do the dining room here together. So, let's fix this up here. Does it have to be cleaned first? Okay, uh, let's see if I can move this now. I don't know why it can't fit in there, but it can't, so let's just get rid of it. I do want this fan though, it looks pretty cool. But apparently it's no good either, so let's just sell it. And what is all this? Feathers? I don't know. <laughs> They're kind of weird. I think it's probably feathers. There we go. Get these off the table. Um, I do not like, I do not like at all, these yellow curtains. So let's get rid of them and put in a different color. Um, I am kind of feeling this color though. This is a nice uh, red color. That was weird. <laughs> That was weird. Um, it's a little bit dark, but it's a little bit uh, class A, if you will. <laughs> so this is all fine and dandy. Yeah, let's just see about the new blinds then. I think the rest of the room looks good. So, might be a little bit on the nose. What's the green look on here? Does it look bad? I know it's kind of like stark opposite spot. Uh, not a big fan. So I think we're going to go with something a little bit more traditional. Go with a light gray or gray. Uh, let's try gray. See how you look. Have a hard time hitting these nails or screws. There we go. That's much better. It just adds that little bit of color to the room. Oh, right. So we finished off the other ones. Unfortunately, when you have a corner like this, you can't put two of these side by side. They just kind of go on top of each other and it will let you place one, but then it will not let you place a second one. Kind of frustrating, but whatever. Uh, so we had to put in this style here for here. And that's all we did. So I think a lot of this room is just going to be tidying up. Uh, maybe what we can do is put this chandelier a little bit more over top of the table. Um, this is a fancy house. Let's use a fancy one of these. That's about the middle. A little bit over to the side. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's not very bright at all, so let's throw in another one uh, somewhere over here. That looks about right. There. Our fancy dining room is done. Now we've got all this stuff out here. Oh yeah, the car is by the front door. Yeah, I remember all this. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen that movie, but it's such a great movie. Just gotta do a little bit of clean up here. No big deal, no big deal. There we go. Uh, front entrance. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out another color for this house, because this red and white just is not doing it for me. But I'm not sure what to do yet. Um, I 
Oops. Pick up the stuff here. There we go. And that works. Um, I don't really see anything in this room that uh, really needs to be done except for this hideous, hideous wallpaper. And this green just does not match with it whatsoever as well. Uh, piano's a nice touch. This little storage box here. Okay. Yeah, so give me a second here. I'm going to think about uh, exactly what we want to do uh, paint-wise for this floor. And uh, I'll be back in just a second here. Interestingly enough... I saw on the map that there was this little red uh, up here on the top right, and I've already done some of it, but you have to actually assemble this one. I didn't actually know that you had to assemble some of the lights. I don't know if it's just because of, you know, being part of the Home Alone house or what, but yeah, you actually have to do that. Interesting. Alright, so we have chosen to go with silver. Silver is the color we went with um, because it's not white. It's a little bit less uh, boring than white because um, it does have a little bit of a shade to it. So that's why we went with that color there. Uh, front entrance way, I like it. You know, you've got a nice little area here. Put your shoes in there, whatever. Um, didn't really do much here. I did uh, remove a lot of the, the uh, Christmas decorations other than in the next room there. Um, yeah, it just felt like it was a little bit too much for... The fact that it's you know april right now <laughs> so yeah i got this all done here uh looking pretty good obviously i'm gonna have to do the upstairs uh walls as well then we go into this room here didn't really do much i took off the rugs i took off the um uh what do you call blinds wow that was hard <laughs> uh and i left everything the way it was uh, i'm not too happy with this chair actually so Let's get ourselves a nice chair to go in there. Uh, for the living room, we want a armchair. What is this? Ooh, that's weird. Okay, whatever. Um, these look kind of fancy. Yeah. That looks nicer. Cool. So yeah, left the piano here, left uh, all the lights here, nice bright room, um, you know, perfect for that big family. Then we go into here, our little living room study, I guess you want to call it. Uh, again, didn't really change much in here, just removed the rugs, removed the blinds uh, for a nice open room in here. And I gotta say, even doing those few little tweaks make it look a lot nicer. So, I guess the next thing we're going to have to do is tackle the kitchen. Okie dokie. So we finished off the kitchen. We made it just like a house from the 1980s would be. You know, it has a lot of uh, contrasting colors and colors that just don't fit that well with the house you know you've got a lot of red with yellow with black um, it just doesn't match the best but it is things that you would have seen in a house that was you know in the 1980s um, and that's kind of the style that we're going for in this house because surprise surprise that's around when the movies were made 1980s 1990s in that time frame uh, I think the first one came out in the 90s sometime um, yeah, so it didn't do too much, just gave it a nice uh, coat of paint, threw up another set of lights over the table here so you can actually see when you're eating, uh, put up some bright yellow blinds where we could, and all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. So there's nothing much we really have to do with here. So it actually looks like we're done. Every time I walk through the space, it gets laggy whenever I look at this wall it's very hard to control I don't know why but something about those stairs is just not working out too nicely for my game 
But uh, yeah, so all in all, very happy. Uh, I wish this was a little bit of a lighter color, but eh, what are you going to do? So the next thing we have to do is tackle the upstairs. Now I can't do anything about these stairs with the, uh, the royal walkway here. Because <laughs> uh, unfortunately the stairs that are in the game is, that's it. You can't add stairs, you can't change stairs, it is what it is. So, you know, no sense getting upset about it. Um, but yeah, now we just have to figure out what we're going to do up here. We have the same wallpaper downstairs. Ugh. Uh, I do like this bathroom though. It's very open, very clean. Uh, I don't like this though. The blinds are not working for me, but it is what it is. Uh, so next I'm going to just have to get to a room and get starting on it. Alrighty, we have done the top of the stairs, so it all matches. I actually like this little uh, white accent that goes around. I really, really like that, actually. Um, I decided to go with Laughing Strawberry up here, just to give it a little bit more color. I uh, had a little bit of uh, input from my niece, thank you very much. Didn't do too much up here. I just threw in a light in here, and that was all I did in this room, I think. Uh, this room we did paint uh, cocoa or uh, cocoa, yeah. Um, it matches really nice with the bed uh, and the other red stuff in here, so that's kind of why we decided to go with that. Bathroom here, we just changed out the blinds for gray blinds as opposed to the flowery ones that they were. I did have to change the sinks here. I didn't want to. I liked them the way they were, but the sink that was there actually isn't in the game at all you can't choose it so kind of sucks um, but I had to get the blinds in there so I had to move this and the only way you can move a sink is by deleting it so ugh, not cool but I had to do what I had to do um, and then we did this one as well just gave it a fresh coat of paint you know made it uh, nice and dirty pink in here uh, it's a kid's room, you know, like I assume it's a girl's room. They can put makeup stuff in here and I don't know whatever girl stuff do I don't know uh, That's as far as I got next thing I'm gonna be doing is working on the bathroom and Continuing on through the rest of the rooms Already finished the upstairs now it didn't take me more than five maybe ten minutes. I really didn't do much at all here Oops, no flashlight needed uh, Here's the bathroom Painted it uh, steel gray. I don't know if it'll still show up. Steel gray, yeah. Um, nice white porcelain floors and threw in some light gray. That's all we did here. Go into here. I uh, removed the door, put in a little closet here so you can put whatever you want in here. Um, use your imagination. This one here, I don't think I did anything other than clean up this mess here and throw in some blinds. Um, this one here I didn't do anything to at all. And this one here I decided to leave it the way it was. Because right now it's kind of set up like it's a little kid's room, right? Like you have little blocks and stuff laying around. And the way I'm seeing it is this used to be a study. That's why they have all these panels like this. So I'm thinking that, you know, when the kids start moving out, they're going to want to turn this back into a study room. So I decided to keep it the way it was. Um... And that's more than enough for me. So I don't know if there's anything else in this house that we need to really take a look at. Where was that downstairs? All right, just did a quick walk through the house and it looks like we got absolutely everything that was needed. So let's do it. Um, sure, let's submit for a garden contest. Can't believe we actually got a bonus. <laughs> Value of the house increased by 7.5%, doing absolutely nothing. Sweet. Alright, put it up on auction. So, we bought the house for 538000 give or take. Uh, renovation of furniture bought is about 10000 minus 5000 furniture sold. So, all in all, I'd say we put it at about 542000 and we are walking away with a massive, massive profit. Ooh. Ooh. 
$222,000 in profit from the house sale of $711,000 plus the bonus $53,000. Oh, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let us absolutely accept this offer. You can see just how few changes we actually made. A lot of this isn't showing up though as changes. Like it's not even showing the changes to the wall. That's really weird. <laughs> Only change was we turned on the light. <laughs> yeah, it took off that thing on the front of the house there. And that's it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So the big question is now, I guess the only question is how much money do we have? $924,000. All right, so this is a little sneak preview of what we're doing next episode. For anyone that knows anything about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, this is the Kame house, Master Roshi's house. This is what we're going to do next episode. So hopefully you're as excited for that as I am, because I am really looking forward to doing this one. But this does mark the end of today's episode. So if you did like that video, please make sure you smack that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.